All right, so what I got going on here today, this is North Texas Trapper. I am getting some skulls out of my maceration tank. And I have them stored in there for a couple weeks usually. And they start out, if you can see in these bags, they start out uh, skin down, kind of looking like that. Um, so I try to get as much meat off of them as possible. Uh, I have a few different kinds in here. A uh, couple otters. A uh, couple coon. Uh, there's an otter. It's a little bit more flat. Anyhow, uh, what I do is I, I take this flat thing, kind of like... Uh, a basin for a flower pot you know to catch the water and I put it in here because these things when they come out of here they got extra little pieces of uh, cartilage left over and flesh or whatnot and what I want to do is I want to rinse off the skull but yet I do not want to rinse my teeth that are going to fall out of that skull out of the front part of it I don't want to rinse them into the grass so I want to kind of rinse all that stuff out of here and then it'll float out the end of this open bag and into the basin and that way I can see if there's any teeth down there I'll just go ahead and capture them and uh, so anyway this one is done I'll set it up and out of the way and we'll get another one um, so this is where the nastiness occurs and not a whole lot of people or excited about doing some of this stuff. I'm gonna guarantee you that. So I got a little kid's rake and uh, don't worry I don't let them use this but I kind of just get all the the main stuff floated out of there and then I move it over take a second and I, I rinse off some of the heavier stuff in the grass so I can see what's going on with the skull and uh, just get a close look at it you want to see if it's to the level that you think it's time for it to come out you notice these teeth got a little bit of black on it and that black stuff is just uh, it just starts a little decay on there that's going to come off when you get it in your degreasing tank so anyhow the most of it's up right there i'm going to move it on over to this side normally i operate with gloves but i ran out of the little gloves that i normally use so just going to see if i can float out some of this stuff out of these plastic bags uh, if you'll notice the jaw the lower jaw on this one has separated and but this this remainder this little stuff that you see in the bag floating around that'll float right on out the end and you just don't want to get rid of all your teeth because some of these these teeth are pretty small so i'm just going to pause one second and we'll be right back and grab another one all right, I'm looking in the bottom of my little basin here and I don't have any teeth and that's a good thing. We didn't float any away. It looks like the bag pretty much got cleaned up. All we got left in here is a nice uh, little otter skull cleaned up. And uh, we're gonna grab another one. All right. What I've done is kind of I've sprayed a little bit of this stuff out of that bag so that you can see here uh, in the basin what kind of stuff is left floating. Easily tell, you know, kind of like you're panning out the mud, you know, if you're looking for a little bit of gold in the edge of the pan. It's all clear now. I can't see anything. Most of the heavier stuff has dropped to the bottom, and that's what the teeth will do inside the bags. And uh, this is what's left over on this skull. Uh, so 
sometimes you can leave it on you leave it in there a little bit longer and get this and sometimes it just won't come off that easy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop and I got myself a little stick and I'm just gonna rub in there and get in these hard to reach places and usually that stuff will just come right out of there and uh, whatever's left over if it's a tiny little bit of stuff when you degrease it uh, when we put it underneath the heat 95 degrees or so in the degreaser for about a week or more um, then that stuff should come out after that we'll work it get it all clean you can see down pick it up you can see down in that skull maybe you guys can maybe you can't and you can look in that nasal cavity there's a little bit in there still you want that stuff to get out of there you don't want to go digging in the nasal cavity though because you can mess up all of that that's in there and that's part of what's so nice about these skulls when you work on them so anyway i'm going to get this done surprisingly these front teeth are left stayed in there but the bottom jaws did break apart again and they'll have to be glued um, all right so there we have it uh, we got three uh, skulls that are completely macerated and ready for degreasing or if you wanted to I suppose you could just clean them up with something like a toothbrush and let them be natural at this point uh, to each their own I like them to have that bright white color and to be very very clean when it comes down because I like to show a whole bunch of kids and stuff these skulls and, and give them away to other people when I trap on there properly I might give them a give them a skull or give them a fur um, as a little present as a thank you and so they can show it off to their friends if they want to okay well if you like what you're seeing just keep checking out my channel I'll try to periodically be updating some stuff North Texas Trapper on YouTube and uh, you can get a hold of me on Facebook I'm Trapper Marty if you look it up all right, have a good one.